Hi, I'm Linda Romanello with Post Magazine. Welcome to Post TV here at the 2015 NAB Show in Las Vegas. We're here today with Simon Robinson of The Foundry. Simon, thank you so much for taking the time out of the day to be here with us. We really appreciate it. Yeah, no, it's a privilege. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so, I, you know, I guess we should start right out with, uh, you know, what is The Foundry's uh, goal at the show this year? And um, so we're showing a bunch of stuff. Um, one of the things we're showing is a whole bunch of improvements to our Nuke Studio product. Um, which um, we're not giving a release date for, but we're saying will be sometime later this year. Um, and we've also launched yesterday, um, for the first time, our uh, non-commercial Nuke. So this is a free-to-use version of Nuke uh, for people who aren't using Nuke for commercial work, and that's been actually fantastic over the last 24 hours. Um, and then a whole bunch of stuff around all the other products, and um, also, um, I guess most excitingly, doing a tech preview of work we've been doing uh, around VR. Um, and so this is um, a set of tools which we're previewing with people uh, to do VR, live action VR work inside Nuke. Okay. Um, what are some of, let's say, you know, the, the what inspired you, let's say, to, to kind of look more closely into VR? Yeah, so, um, I mean, it's, 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 it's being a bunch of uh, technical people, it's technically fascinating. So the, the kind of people we're dealing with are people who are capturing uh, 12 or more or 20 different streams of um, uh, video at the same time from a, from a ball of cameras um, with the intent that this would then be viewed um, inside a headset like an Oculus Rift. And it sounds kind of... Uh, uh, simple in principle, but the, the post-production problems involved in moving from a typical one-camera workflow or a two-camera workflow in the case of stereo uh, just go up um, uh, um, hugely when you start to deal with this huge ball of cameras. And when we went out and had a look at people doing this kind of work, because there's a vast amount of investment going into uh, people producing cameras and people producing productions, is that um, we found that a large number of people doing this work are just our own customers. They're already using Nuke. They're, they're using Nuke's workflow to try and assemble this kind of footage already. And there is a common set of problems they're all hitting. Um, and I guess being hugely talented people, they're all getting around them as people always do when they have something to deliver. But there's a common set of themes where we thought actually we can produce a set of tools or workflows that will help solve some of these problems. So um, things like how do I stitch the images together? How do I calibrate so many cameras? How do I do color correct across them? And then even how do I do normal compositing operations in a sensible way across all these different views at the same time? Um, and yeah, for that, for that it's, been, uh, it's been great. So we're showing here a set of tools which we think are the first step towards some product that we're uh, too frightened at the moment to say when it would be released, but um, a lot of great feedback. I was just going to ask you, when do you think it'll be released? <laughs> um, so what's the response been? You know, what kind of reaction are you getting from some of the attendees coming through the booth? Um, brilliant, actually. So um, it was, uh, as I said, we kind of kicked off with knowing already that we had 10 or 20 customers already doing this kind of work, and it turns out there's actually far more than that, which is one of those fun things you find out at a show. And it's also been um, interesting because every time you meet someone, they say, have you thought of this idea about handling this? And um, so the feedback technically we get from people has also been brilliant. But really, it's, the, um, it's amazing how big it is, how much interest and how much effort and time is going into the, producing this kind of content now. So for us, we think it's great. We think we're on the right track with supporting them. We're, we're definitely interested in, uh, you know, sort of staying in touch with you as you develop through this. Um, so anybody that's here at the show, they could certainly see some of the uh, technology demos at your booth. You're, you're, look, you're here in South Lower? Uh, yes, we are. I wish I could remember our booth number, but we are down here, yeah. Okay. And uh, anybody uh, not at NAB, they want to learn a little bit more about the Foundry and what you're doing? Yeah, so on our website, um, thefoundry.co.uk, um, there's a bunch of material, but um, for the for the show, we've also done a, um, a live stream yesterday, which we left a recording up. So anyone who actually wants to go back and replay um, the kind of stuff we've been showing people, we've got a really nice example of all of the things we've talked about here um, that people can play back and have a look at and hopefully give us some more feedback on. 
Terrific. That's awesome. Thank you. Really appreciate you being here and uh, have a terrific NAB. Will do. Thank you very much.